This is Geometry Unit 9, Quiz 1 Review. We're looking for the exact radius, actually the exact circumference, when we're given a radius. So we know R equals 8. So the circumference formula I'm going to use is 2 pi R. And that's going to give us an exact answer of 16 pi. Exact answers have the pi symbol involved. So 16 pi feet. That's how long it is around the circle. The circumference is around the circle. Find the circumference to the nearest hundredth. So that's referring to a decimal. In this case, they're telling us that the diameter is 13. So the formula I'm going to use is diameter times pi. 13 pi. That would be our exact answer, but our decimal version is when we take 13 times pi and we get 40.84. And again, this is circumference, so it's a length. So it's inches. We don't say squared until we do area. In this case, we're looking for the radius. What is the radius if the circumference all the way around it is 6598? The circumference is 2 pi r. If we know the circumference is 6598, that should equal 2 times the radius times pi. Well, we can divide by 2 pi, but you got to be sure to put parentheses around the denominator. So 6598 divided by 2 pi. So you're dividing by 2, then you're dividing by pi. The radius would be 10.5. and that would be centimeters. Here we're looking for the area. We know the radius is six. Well, the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. Notice that it's similar to the circumference formula, which is two pi r. They both have pi in it, they both have r in it, and they both have a two in it. Circumference is twice the radius times pi. The area formula is the radius squared times pi. So if we're looking for the exact area, that would be 6 times 6 is 36 pi. Then we say inches squared. That tells us that there would be 36 pi number of little squares involved in this whole area. We're going to find the area to the nearest hundred, so that's a decimal. The radius is 10.5, so the area equals pi r squared. So we'll take our 10.5 and times that by itself, or otherwise known as square it. And that's 110.25 times pi. That's the exact answer. And then we can times that by pi. And we get 346. Point three six, and those are feet squared. Here we have a diameter that's two, uh, that is 24.8. So if the diameter is twice the radius, then the radius is going to equal 24.8 divided by 2, which is 12.4. That's the radius of this circle. which would be half the diameter. 
So we're looking for the area. The area formula has radius in it, so I have to use the radius calculation. So 12.4 squared is going to be 153.76 pi. That's the exact answer. So I times that by pi to get the decimal version. 483.05. That would be centimeters squared. Here we have the area of the shaded region. We want to know if this is a full circle with a diameter of 13, what are we going to do to find the area of those three slices? So I'd start out with the area is pi r squared, so that's 169 pi. That's the exact answer for the total area. Now we're going to take this total area and divide it into eight different amounts because there are eight sections. So we can say 169 times pi, and we divided that into eight equal pieces. That's 66, 36. So that's the area of the circle, that's the area of each piece. Now there are three pieces that are gray. So we're going to take the 66, 37 and times that by three, because that's each piece. So that's a total area, all three pieces would be 199.10. And these would be inches squared. The other way you could do it is to find the total area and multiply it by 3 eighths. That would multiply it by 3 and divide by 8 all in one step. Here we have a big circle and a small circle. So we're going to take the big circle and drill out the small circle. We'll be left with this shaded region. So we have large circle and the smaller circle. So the larger circle has a radius of 9 plus 2.5. The smaller circle just has a radius of 9. So we're going to take the area, which is pi times 11.5, because that is 9 plus 2.5, and we're going to subtract pi 9 squared. So 11.5 squared, that gives us 132.25. And then I can subtract the 81 from it because 9 times 9 is 81. So we found the area of the small circle. When I subtract, these are like terms now, so I take 132 minus 81, we have 51, we have some left over, so that's 51 pi. That's the exact answer. And we can convert that into a decimal by multiplying it by pi, we get 161.
and that's area again, so that would be meters squared because the units are meters. Here, the big circle has a radius of six. The small circle, therefore, would have a diameter of six and a radius of three. So what we're gonna take is a large circle minus the small circle. Well, the area of the large circle, or the, the radius, is six, and the radius of the small one is three. So we have pi r squared minus pi three squared. That's 36 pi minus nine pi. That's 27 pi. That's the exact answer. And if we wanted a decimal to that, we could call it 84.82. And those would be units because we don't know which type of unit, inches, centimeters, miles. So these are units squared, square units. Now we talk about some equations. So we're gonna write the standard form of an equation. Well, first of all, you need to know the standard form of an equation. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. H and K are your center. And R, of course, is the radius. So write the standard form of an equation. Well, to write the standard form of an equation, we need to know the center and we need to know the radius. Here we have a center, so this is your H and K, and we know the diameter equals 12. So if the diameter is 12, the radius is half of 12. So we're going to be able to say x minus a negative 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 6 squared. Well, when you minus a negative, you get x plus 1 squared and y minus 3 squared equals 36. You do not multiply any of that out, just like that. Write the standard equation of a circle with a center of 0, 0,5 and a radius of 3. Well, if the center is our h and k and our radius is 3, this one becomes pretty easy. x minus 0 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 3 squared. Well, if you're minusing 0, you just have the x and x squared. And this is y minus 5 being squared. Do not distribute that through. That's not mathematically correct. Equals 9. There's your circle. It has a center of 0, positive 5, with a radius the square root of 9, which is 3. Write the standard form of the equation with a center, hk, and a point on the circle is xy. So what we don't know is what the radius is. Find the radius. Well, the radius, if we have a center at 4, negative 8, and another point at 6, negative 2, our radius is the distance that it takes to get to that point. You could use the distance formula. But our circle equation is actually the distance formula. This would be your x2 minus your x1 and y2 minus your y1, and it gives you a distance. But instead of having a square root, to make it only equal distance, we square both sides and it's radius squared. So your x 
is 6 minus your h, and your y is negative 2 minus a negative 8, and that gives us our radius squared. Well, this is 2 squared, and negative 2 plus 8 gives you negative 6 that's being squared. So that's 4 plus 36. That is your radius squared. So that's 40. So if our radius is four, our radius squared is 40, our equation is x minus 4, because h is 4, y minus a negative, which means plus 8 squared, equals r squared, which is 40. That's the equation of a circle. Find the center, the exact radius of a circle with our standard equation. So find the center, the exact radius right here. Well, that is our H, that is our K, R squared equals 45. Well, we'll take the square root of both sides. We like to break that down. What times what makes 45? Well, that would be 3 root 5, because the square root of 9 times 5, 9 and 5 make 45, so the square root of 9 is 3 with the 5 left inside. So our center is 7, 2, and our radius is 3 root 5. We'll graph our equation. So we go 3 to the left because our h value is negative 3. It's always the opposite. This is minus a negative. So the formula is x minus so we're going to have x minus a negative 3. It makes it look like x plus 3. This is x minus a positive 1. So the k value is a positive 1. And the r value, r squared equals 9. So r is going to be 3. So we're going to start at negative 3, positive 1. And we're going to have a radius of 3. as wide as you can. And there's your circle. What's our equation here? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our center is at negative 4, positive 6. That's our h and our k. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Just verifying then I'm counting correctly in every direction. You should have the same, so our radius is 4. So if our equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, that's the format it should be in, we're going to have x minus a negative 4 because h is a negative 4 quantity squared plus y minus k squared equals 4 squared. And this can be cleaned up. x plus 4 quantity squared and y minus 6 squared equals 16. There we have it. Good luck everybody.